Goosebumps is rated GB7 because it may be too spooky for Goosebumps fans under 7. Hello, Goosebumps fans. It's time for one more. A nice little spinoff. If I like to wait for Paparina, but hopefully I can at least make a few more episodes when he gets to it. Which is basically about in June. <laughs> yes, he's going to get to this book in June. But anyways, let's talk about the what if. What if it was Tasha that is like, what if Tasha didn't even notice, didn't even do anything. And then all of a sudden she gets screwed over. How would this play out? Well, this deserves to have even more. So it might be a later one that happens in June. But for right now, here's just a little one of me just trying to walk and do it. First things first is she gets phone calls and... Well, actually, it could be four. It could be four options. So option one, she gets phone calls and she's like, but I'm not the commander. The real commander is Ricky Beamer. His number is dot, 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 dot. So she'll just continue on with that. Or heck, she might even go and put in the next newspaper that, you know, it was Ricky that is the commander. <laughs> you know, she's trying to be like, uh, Ricky's the commander, not me. So plus, we don't even know what happens if you do that. It's like maybe wrong person, but I'm pretty sure that they're not that smart to be like, oh, or stupid to be like, oh, since you're the wrong person, but you heard us what we say, we're going to have to kill you. And it's like, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we'll find you and kill you and then we'll go to our leader. So that's one thing that could happen. But she could most likely balance it out. But talk about a lot of stuff that you have to do to balance that. Um, number two, let's just say that if she actually is like, I am the leader. Well, pretty sure one thing that she will do is most likely get Ricky killed just because, you know, it doesn't seem to me that she's actually like, oh, yeah. And Ricky, definitely Ricky's like, no, no, I'm pretty sure Ricky will get killed. He might like go get eaten by the creeps. It's like prove to your truth my your loyalty by eating Ricky. It's like, yeah, that most likely would be a good, good one thing that would happen. It could actually happen. Of course, again, she could be eaten because she doesn't have any idea what the frick to do. So she might actually get eaten herself. Like, for instance, if she actually did get kidnapped or get escorted or something then yeah i'm pretty sure she's like i don't know you you gross oh my goodness no and it's like what you think she's gonna be scared i mean of brave and be like yes and i'm pretty sure there might be a chance of where she actually will freak out and be like oh hell no now if she did get scared and did she did actually try to make sure that she doesn't get herself killed which that's a possibility hold on let me do one thing there we go. Because yeah, it's a possibility that she could actually go with it just so she doesn't get killed. But it's like, hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she would actually crumble under the pressure. I'm pretty sure she would actually get killed. Yeah, so that's the many things that could happen to her. Could she actually make it all the way to the end to become the ruler of everyone? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I guess she could do it. They're pretty stupid, so I'm pretty sure she could actually pull that off. The only messed up part would be like, everyone gets a cookie except for Ricky. I have no idea if, like in the book version, I don't really know if she actually has anything. Something about Iris. I don't think she does. So since I don't think so, she might actually have Iris eat the cookie too, but I doubt she will. So it basically gets to the point of where they're all creeps. Tasha's in command. Ricky doesn't get to eat a cookie. Iris refuses and she's like, kill him, attack the rat. And it's like, wow, damn, <laughs> like seriously, damn, it's like. I'm pretty sure she's messed the freak up to be like that too, where everything goes as planned somewhat, or heck, she might even just be like, I don't even know. To the commander. I'm pretty sure she might actually ask the right questions, supposedly, and if she does, then that means that, yes, she would easily just turn everyone into, 
you know, her slaves, her minions that fast. Because if you say that she's going to become a ruler and crap, then yeah, pretty sure she would actually start the process earlier. And it's just that. And in a what if fashion, technically, I would have to believe that what if actually works of worse, like, yeah, she does it mid book and then it's up to Ricky to be the hero in this case. That sounds like a actual what if that could really happen where it's like, so he was able to acquire a cookie and well. I don't think Ricky is a scientist, of course. Sadly, he's no scientist, so we have, there has to be another way. Or it's just a fact of maybe he knows that you could actually make them eat the cookies again and they turn normal. And then at that case, all five of them, yeah, the rest of the creeps, will be taken out of town or something. Or, you know, maybe the services that came in Monster Blood four or three let me see no monster blood four so yeah the same forces that came in monster blood four would come to this school and take those five creeps away tasha doesn't get anything and tasha is now being experimented on <laughs> so it's like yeah because of that crap she got experimented on that sounds like an actual what if that really would happen as for the other idea of where she's just rules and Ricky's now very oppressed and crap, I don't know. I think the real what if story is the fact of Tasha actually gets understanding of she could actually have rule. She does it as soon as possible. And then she stops Ricky and Iris doesn't want to eat the cookie. Actually, hold on. Well, in this case, Iris wouldn't know. So that means that Iris either A, wouldn't eat a cookie, or she would basically get the part of where she's like, well, everyone gets to eat a cookie. Well, why doesn't Ricky get to? And it's like, well, everyone's changing now. She's like, oh, well, fuck, no, no, no. <laughs> I guess the real funny part would just be the fact of everyone's like, Iris is the commander and it's like yep, Iris is the commander now. And Iris did show herself. And Iris did does actually get Tasha killed because well she's a poser so she has to get killed and the, the head minions the four minions that were already here eats her because well she's a faker and it's kind of crazy where Ricky's like oh my gosh what the f it's like Ricky no no don't don't get it twisted I'm not here to rule or anything I actually got to love humans and the city and everything in the world and it's like i enjoy this and i don't want anyone to get hurt so that there's another freaking yeah what of story is the fact of iris is the commander and she stops everyone from doing this and then the minions themselves are like what but lead her I thought we wanted to actually conquer the world. It's like, no, no, no. The world is beautiful. We shouldn't want to conquer this world. We can conquer elsewhere. It's like, there you go. And then they cured everyone who's became one. Or since they're already turned, she might as well just take them to question mark. I think she would most likely give an antidote to everyone. Who knows? Maybe she'll give an antidote to the others who are creeps and now they're human or they stay oh keep their human identity now i don't know i don't know how that actually will work out so anyways there you go there's a little dry run of the what if in creeps of the deep if tasha actually was if tasha actually went through the emotions actually went through the story and it wasn't she changed it to ricky yeah, so basically that uh, she didn't catch him changing it. Anyways, have a scary day. Have a scary night.